I was seven minutes to go in the second half. I knew I was going to have to put up some shots. Uh, come on, boy. Um, first half, I was just seeing how the game was going to play out. We didn't know if they was going to run two, three, or box and one. So I was just trying to get everybody involved. But then the second half, I was still trying to do that and be, be patient. But then there was a time uh, came where Coach Brown started calling plays for me. So I knew I was going to have to put up some shots. And, and luckily, I, I made some big threes for us. Sure. Um, this game last year, Memphis, it was a game you guys lost. I think it was the second of the three-game stretch where you lost three in a row. At, at times last night, it looked like you may lose it, but you kept fighting back. Is that something you guys have, you know, kind of took it upon yourselves to make sure that you finish these road games? Yeah, last year when, when things got tough, we, we all went in our own directions. Um, mostly me, I lost my composure, but... Uh, this year, when things get rough, I just kind of rally the guys and, and tell them to calm down a little bit and, and tell them that everything's going to be all right. But um, we got that second push. We started playing good defense with about eight minutes left in the game, and I think that's what pulled it out for us. You hit three big shots down the stretch there, and it's not the first time you've done this for this team, either this season or last. What's going through your head during those moments? Um, I mean, just playing, really. I just come off screens, and if I'm open, I'm going to shoot it. But if somebody hedges, I'm going to dump it down to the big fellas. But um, I like situations like that and being away and everybody against us, and it's just us together. So, I mean, my teammates get me open, so I got to give them a lot of credit. I must be really looking forward to UConn then if you like hostile environments. Oh, yeah, definitely. What are you expecting on Sunday? Um, it's going to be a battle. Um, I think there's going to be a pretty big crowd there. Um, they're a great team. We've got to keep Boat right under control and just continue to fight like we are and then hopefully come back and, and finish it off against Tulsa too. But, I mean, I'm not looking past UConn. That's going to be one good game, a hard game, 40 minutes. So we just got to continue to take this practice and tomorrow's practice and let that lead us into Sunday. You guys always seem to feed off the home crowd really well. Is UConn another team that feeds off the home crowd well? Um, they definitely are because last year um, their crowd was real into it. Uh, we pulled it out, but it was still a grind for 40 minutes, and I think it's going to be that way again. Anybody else have to say? No.